Welcome to the second part of the Tecla Structures Railing Dimensioning Program presentation. We will start by installing the program. After downloading the program, you will receive a zip archive. Open it and unpack it in a convenient location. Depending on whether you are using new Tecla, that is, the 2016 version or newer, or older Tecla, such as 20.0, 21.0, you must select the appropriate installer. For older versions of Tecla it is the MSI installer. You must have administrator rights to install this product. However, for new Tecla it is the TSEP package. You do not need administrator rights to install this product. To install TSEP package open the Tecla Structures program and in the Applications and Components tab, click on the Menu. Manage Extensions Extension Manager A window will open which lists all installed Tecla extensions that were installed using the TSEP packages. Click on the Import button and find the TSEP installation file you downloaded. After installation, the program will appear in the Application and Components in the DDBIM Tools tab. The program is called Railing Dimensioning App. Double click to run it. The main program window looks as follows it contains tabs with settings and a log. In the first tab, we have the most important drawing settings. For example, attributes, and a short instruction that reminds you how to use the program. Start and cancel buttons. Progress bar. Status and Progress Labels Above the manual there is a button with which you manage the license for this program. If you have purchased a license, you can enter the license key here. You can enter the license server address if you have a network license. You can start a free trial period of 30 days. Now let's open the drawing and explain the attribute settings in detail. The first time you install this program, you need to create settings for it. The settings are used to create the drawing in colors and styles that comply with the company's standards. The program creates a front view, top view, section views, optionally 3D view and dimensions for each drawing. For each of these objects you need to set the name of the attributes with styles. Separately for front view, top view and section views. You also set the scale for views. I draw in 1 to 15. You can set your scale. For a 3D view, you can enable the creation of a 3D view, set its styles and scale. Similarly for dimensions and section marks. How to create settings. First of all you have to generate one drawing in your company's styles. Right click on the main view, then on properties. Save these settings with a new name. Then click Apply and OK buttons. Create a cross section anywhere. Now save the settings for this section with a new name.
The section properties are different because the section has a label with a name and the front view does not. We will also create settings for the top view. These settings will be different from the section view settings because I turn off part marks in the top view to improve readability. Then we create any dimension. We open its properties and also save the settings with a new name. Then we click on the cross section mark, open its properties and save its settings with a new name. Now we create a 3D view. We enter the drawing properties and turn on this view. We open its properties and save it with a new name. Now we need to select these saved attribute settings in the railing dimensioning main window. If they are not visible, we must restart the program. We close the program with a cross. Run program from the icon in applications and components tab. Now we see our new settings, I made them with the A prefix. We choose the setting for front view, top view, section view, 3D view, dimensions, section marks. We save these settings under a new name at the top of the window. We enter the name into the text box and click the Save button. The settings have been saved. They are located in the Attributes folder, like the settings in all other Tecla Structures windows. The next time, in your new project, copy these settings into the Attributes folder. The settings can be loaded similarly to the settings of other windows by using the load button. Now let's test our settings. Select the settings, click load. Then make sure everything is OK. Click run macro. If everything is correct, we should see the drawing created in our corporate styles and colors. Now let's move on to the second tab with the settings. The second tab offers two options. The first is for vertical dimensions, the second is for bold dimensions. Vertical dimensions can be created in closed lines or in short, open lines. The second setting is for bold dimensioning.
If we set the right option, the column dimensions will be added to the dimension line. If we choose the option on the left, the bolts will be dimensioned only to the bolt group and the dimensions of the columns will be ignored. In the third tab, there is an option to automatically select the layout size. If you are issuing drawings of railings on multi-drawing drawings, then this option can be turned off because it does not matter what the size of this drawing is. However, if you issue drawings of railings on separate drawings, then you can turn on the automatic drawing size so that you do not have to view the drawings and manually change. In this tab, it is very important to correctly set the size of the drawing title block. We must enter its dimensions so that the program correctly selects the size of the sheet. You need to measure the dimensions. The width of my title block is 190 mm height 80 mm. Below are the sheet sizes that are used by the program. You can edit them and enter your own. All settings on this tab are saved to the global settings of the program. The same as the dimension settings. Now, if we click load, the old settings we did earlier will be loaded. We will enter new values and click save. Let's test it for the rest of the options. If you want to cancel the dimensioning process, you have to wait for the program to execute several commands that are queued. Cancellation may take several seconds. Sometimes you will have to wait for the program to finish creating the drawing. Now if our settings are ready and we have tested these settings, we can close the drawing editor. Select all drawings on the drawing list and click Run Macro to make the program create dimensions on all drawings. Thank you for your attention. If you are interested in the program, there is a link in the description of this video. You can test it for 30 days for free using a trial license. Enter the license option, select the trial license and then start the trial period. The program will run for 30 days for free. In the description of this video, there is also a link to the first part of the presentation. Please visit my website ddbim.pl and subscribe this YouTube channel. Thank you for your attention.